Hi guys and welcome to my first q and I'm going to be answering the questions that you guys asked on my Instagram, um, Snapchat, Facebook. Hopefully holding these maybe once a month. Um, it depends on how many questions I get asked, but let's get stuck into it. First question was from Hurricane. Hopefully I've said that right. He said, where is the magnificent tub -a day lifestyle gone? Been having some major ice cream cravings lately. Unfortunately, since I've moved back to Launceston, those photos were in Melbourne and you can only get that type of ice cream in Melbourne. So I haven't actually been able to find another low fat ice cream to be able to manage those incredible ice cream posts. But hopefully we'll be able to soon and I'll bring them back definitely. Second question was from IIFYM underscore Matt. He asks, what got you started in regards to YouTube and who is your inspiration? Probably when it comes to who got me started into YouTube, it would have to be um, a guy called Lewis Cole or Louis Cole. Um, and his page fun for Louis um, and he's also his food challenges one definitely got me started with YouTube probably four or five years ago now more recently probably Matt Stoney and his food challenges as well as Furious Pete and also Casey Neistat you've probably seen me um, watch quite a few of his videos on my vlogs as well question was from Whitmore1993 he asks lower back injuries tips on dealing with them and fixing them also staying motivated while injured and being unable to train so I'll start with the lower back injuries firstly I am not going to say anything other than go and see a doctor or GP or even get um, a referral to a physio because back injuries are not something that you're going to want to mess around with and I'm not trained in any way to unfortunately answer that question so when it comes to staying motivated while injured and being able to train I'd say do what you can in regards to exercise so even if you can't do heavy weights or anything like that still go to the gym still do some cardio go for nice long walks also try and you know watch YouTube videos watching them train it keeps you motivated and keeps you ready for the time that you can get back into training but you know keep keep into the routines you were in before and just keep yourself busy in general really the next question is from Causa Demurg one He said, what are your plans for the future? Go into PT or nutritionist, maybe. Um, plans for the future when it comes to food. I'd probably stay away from the fitness side of things, from PT nutritionist. There's another question coming up soon regarding nutrition that I'll answer this a bit more in depth about, but I did try a nutrition course and I didn't really like it, so... I just think that it's more of a hobby for me when it comes to fitness and nutrition. When it comes to food, you know, I could definitely look into that as a career path. I don't know, we'll just sort of see what happens. I'm just sort of, because I'm only 19, I'm just sort of taking life as it comes at the moment. So not planning too far ahead into the future. Next question is from One With The C. She asks, when you come in to cook food at my house, hashtag Australia. I could definitely try and cook something and send it over. I don't know how well Ozpost will go with that considering how slow they are at the moment. But yeah, let, let's organize some postage with, no, I don't think that's gonna work at all. <laughs> S Marshall asks, what are your favorite non-processed calorie dense foods? Anything like whole eggs, whole milk, definitely olive oil. So cooking like um, sauteing mushrooms in olive oil is really good. So literally just go for those fats. So you've got your avocados, you've got your nuts, whole eggs and also whole milk, definitely. And they're full of nutrients as well. This question is from Squats and Sushi. What three foods can't you live without? This is gonna be very difficult. I'd have to say one would be cauliflower, just because it is so versatile. It can literally be made into anything such as, you know, cakes that can be made into cauliflower, fried rice and savory. You can make pizzas out of them. I would say pizza, but just simply because you can make a cauliflower pizza base, then that sort of eliminates that problem as well. Probably blueberries. I use blueberries in everything. It's actually getting to the point where it's kind of ridiculous now how many blueberries I eat. Number three, ice cream. Yep, ice cream, definitely ice cream. As you can probably see from previous 10,000 calorie challenge, which I will link in the description above. Ice cream is definitely one thing I can't live without. So you got cauliflower, blueberries, and ice cream. IIFYM Alex 
asks, what does your current workout plan look like? Are you using any kind of periodization? So my current workout plan as of, I changed it about two or three weeks ago. I was training six days a week for about an hour to an hour and a half. So at the moment I'm training five days a week. It's sort of a bit skewed. So the first day, which is normally the Monday, I will train chest and back. Tuesday, I will train shoulders and tricep and Thursday I will train legs with a bit of um, core strength and also bicep work. And the fourth day, the Thursday will be the rest. Then Friday is, do you repeat the cycle again? So you go chest and back. Then Saturday is the shoulders and tricep. And then the Sunday will be another rest day. So two rest days a week. But because I'm, because for instance that week I'm not training legs twice, it means on the Monday, I'll continue through the cycle and then train the legs. Every week there'll be a body part or two that will only be trained once in a week to give better recovery for that time. The next question is from Chris Draper 90. He asks, would you vote for Donald Trump? No. Next question is from Lift, Eat, Study, Repeat. He asks, how come you had to leave Melbourne and move back to Tassie? So this is a good question and this was the one that I mentioned I'll go into further detail before. For those of you that don't know, I went to Melbourne, moved to Melbourne at the start of the year in February for university and I was studying at Deakin University. Card there. Oh, so I went over there to study human nutrition and food science, but upon doing the course, I was about a month and a half in and I really decided it just wasn't for me. Um, the stuff that I was learning, I didn't feel like it was something that I wanted to follow into a career. Next question, these are now on the YouTube questions. Jasmine Templin, and she asks, would you ever play Pokemon Go or do you play Pokemon Go? And I definitely don't. I was a huge Pokemon fan when I was younger, but sort of those days are behind me now. Even though everyone's so caught up in it, it's just doesn't really appeal to me. And the second question from Jasmine was, would you ever compete in a powerlifting or bodybuilding competition? Personally, no. It's not something that, it's something that I used to be interested in and you know, sort of thought of it as maybe a bit of a goal into the future. But I've, from years of learning how to do weights by myself and never having a coach or anything like that, and years of bad form in lifting, I've got far too many little niggling injuries and stuff that I just can't see it ever being a possibility now. Shot knees, my shoulders are awful, my elbows are awful, my wrists are starting to give away now. It's probably just, even my lower back now isn't too great. But I do really admire people who do bodybuilding and powerlifting Last YouTube question was from Georgia Pearson and she says, during a week of eating vegetarian, did you notice any benefits? For example, better mood, more energy, better workouts. As a matter of a fact, I did feel, I don't, I don't know if I'd say a benefit, but the craving of, I wouldn't say different protein sources, but like meat as a protein source towards the end of the week was getting very, very strong. Literally, I was just really missing chicken. I was missing like red meat. And I was actually getting to the point where I sort of felt as if my strength was decreasing. I'm sure that's just because I just went cold turkey as such and eliminated that out of my diet. My body was making me want to eat them. So although it probably wasn't anything, it was just more of a mental reaction to the fact that I'd cut out meat. It, I definitely didn't feel as strong and I didn't feel as in it, I guess you could say, especially when it comes to training. Um, but at the same time, I did notice all around, I, had, I, I felt my mood was a little bit better. I felt like my body was lighter and although not as strong, I felt a lot cleaner and a lot healthier. Um, obviously that's, I don't know if that's true or not in any way, but um, yeah, certainly there were some benefits in that way. This question was from Donovan Piero, and he said, would you ever try CrossFit? CrossFit can be a little bit half-half in terms of your body and your joints. Um, you do some, I've seen some pretty crazy stuff done in CrossFit that I probably wouldn't advise people ever do. Although I might maybe get somewhere down the future incorporate parts of CrossFit into whatever workout routine I do continue with. Um, I can't say I ever go fully into CrossFit and go into classes and stuff. That's Q&A for this first episode this Wednesday. 
and it's a beautiful day outside. So I think I'm gonna finish it up there. Thanks heaps everyone for asking me questions and feel free again to ask any questions in the comments and I'll answer them in my next questions and answers episode. And be sure to hit that like button and comment below. Let me know what you thought. Be sure to subscribe, stick around. It's actually now Wednesday, so I've got two days and I'm off to Sydney. So what I'm planning on doing is vlogging every day of that Sydney trip from the Friday to the Tuesday. I can't promise anything, but I will try my best to try and get all of that content. There are also gonna be some great food places visited and great food tasted. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media accounts. You got Instagram at Lewis underscore eats. It's same as well for Snapchat at Lewis underscore eats and all the other social media accounts will be in the link below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.